In this lesson, we'll talk about how to save multiple phrases as separate files out of one long audio file, and then to save each one of those phrases or different pieces of a file as their own file name. If you've ever had to do this, you know how long and tedious a job it can be. You have to somehow strip out a piece of a large audio file and save that piece as its own small file with a specific file name. Then you have to do this for however many small files you need. I had one particular job where it was 299 separate small files that needed to be saved out from one long audio file. Having to do that manually sucks, and it's a long, long job. But today we're going to look at some tools in Reaper that will really help to speed things up. So let's go ahead and open up a file we've been working with. If you don't remember, that's Insert Media File. And you should have the male voice and the female voice from the dialogue lesson. Let's go ahead and open one of those. And you'll see in this example there are only four phrases. I was talking about one that used 299. So clearly this is a much smaller job than you might usually have to do. But anyway, we're going to start with the Auto Trim Split tool, which we have used several times already. Go ahead and open up Auto Trim Split to create four separate items out of your one long item. So that's step number one. Step number two is to create a region for each of these items. Now, in order to understand what a region is, you need to know what a marker is first. I've put one in here. That's just to mark your place inside a project. And then you can name your marker. So in this case, you can just say item two. You can put whatever you want there. If you want to put in a marker, just hit the M key on your keyboard and double click on the number. And then you can type in whatever you want to name it. So let's go ahead and delete these markers. And what a region is, is a marker that doesn't just identify a point in time, it identifies several points in time, i.e. a whole section. So if we just drag over a section of our track here and come up to the triangles and right click after you see the double headed arrow icon appear, you will see this drop down and you will see a create region from selection option. Just click on that and it creates a region just like we created a marker before. And then of course you can name that region just like we named the marker. But there's a much faster way to do this that will automatically create a region for each of the items that are selected. So let's go ahead and get rid of that region. Press the escape key to deselect everything. And now we are going to find that action under the actions menu. And here's what you want to type in the list. First you want to type markers. And now scroll down because we are looking for the action called markers colon insert separate regions for each selected item. So it's alphabetical. We have markers, markers, go insert. Insert separate regions for each selected item. Click on that and then click run. And you'll notice that it only did it for one item because that was the only one that was selected. So if we undo that, Let's select all of these by right mouse clicking the first one, holding down the right mouse key, and dragging to the right. Remember the other way to select everything on a track is to double click the left mouse button over here in this empty section of the track control panel. So just double click and you see everything selected. Now let's try markers, insert separate regions for each selected item. Boom. And now you've got four regions for your four items. That was step two. Step three of the process is to name each of these regions. If you have a list of file names that you need to apply to each of these regions, you can copy and paste them into these sections up here. If you right mouse click on one of them, you'll see edit region, which is where you need to insert the name, 
but there's a shortcut on the keyboard, shift double click, that will do it faster for you. So instead of right mouse clicking on there and clicking edit region every time, you can just hold down the shift key and then double click it and it brings it up. Now put in whatever name you want, name underscore one, and a lot of times the, the names are just going to be sequential, name underscore one, name underscore two, or, or whatever. You know, copy and pasting works here too. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to come over to the second one, shift, double click, paste that in and change it to a two, etc. And you can do that all the way across. So um, actually, let me change this third one here as well to a three. And do a four. OK. That part is still a bit tedious and, uh, to my knowledge, is not automatable just yet. But that's step three. Step four will then be to go to File, Render. And first thing we're going to do is change, under Render Bounds, change the entire project to Project Regions. I'm just going to delete where it says File Name. And if you come over here to Wild Cards, if you click on dollar sign region, that will apply whatever is in the name box up here as the file name, and it will put it in this folder. And those are the four files that it's going to create. So let's go ahead and render them. So let's show them in Explorer to see if they saved with the right file names. We're looking for name underscore one all the way through name underscore four, and lo and behold, there they are four different files saved with one action, each with their own names. You may not have run into a need to do that yet, but once you do, this will come in extremely handy. I hope you find it as helpful as I did. See you back here for the next lesson.